Hey what's up guys, Scamfief here and welcome to this week's Team of the Week predictions. If my predictions are slightly accurate, we are in for a very good Team of the Week. Now guys, as always in the comments below, let me know who you think could get an inform this week and also if you could leave a like on this video, that would be very much appreciated. Let's get in to the potential informs. Now I just want to say quickly, I'm sorry for sounding tired, it's currently 4am, I woke up early to get this video done for you guys, so um, yeah, that's pretty much it, apologies for sounding tired. The potential informs this week are pretty damn interesting. First up, we have Alvaro who got two goals in a 3-1 win. This would be a position change card as well. Di Maria got a goal and an assist in a 4-1 win for PSG. That card would be awesome, but um, I'm a bit unsure about it. We'll have to see. Mustafi got a goal and uh, a clean sheet in a 1-0 win. That card is probably going to happen, but I just couldn't find space for him in my team of the week. So um, yeah, look out for that Mustafi card. I'm really confident that he will get the inform this week. But as I say, I just couldn't find room for him. Durich, I think that's how you pronounce it, Durich, maybe, two goals, two assists in a 4-3 win, his game was on a Wednesday, so once again, a bit unsure about it, and finally, Rush on the end there, kept clean sheet and made a penalty save, on to the next page, a bunch of BPL players, Delafeu got two assists in a 3-2 win for Everton, Juan Mata got a goal and an assist in a 3-0 win for United, Van Dijk got a goal in a 3-1 win for Southampton, but I really was not sure on defenders this week, so um, I'm not too sure about Van Dijk in form. Lloris, very impressive performance against Manchester City. He could sneak in in form, but I've already got a Tottenham player in my predictions. We've got a Daniel Sturridge who scored twice on his return in a 3-2 win for Liverpool. And then finally, on the end, James Milner with a goal and an assist in a 3-2 win. So guys, let's get into my predictions, and we start off, as we always do with the goalkeeper, I have gone for Carlos Idris Kamini. Now, I didn't realise that was his name until now. So, um, yeah. Anyway, he made nine saves and kept clean sheet in a nil-nil draw for Malaga. Decent looking card, to be honest, uh, judging by the stats. Doesn't have the best height, though, which can be a bit of a problem in FIFA. But nevertheless, should be a nice, cheap inform. Christopher Julian is next. This guy scored twice in a 2-0 win for his side. Not a bad looking card either. Very impressive performance for a centre-back to get two goals. Just like this man. The former Gunner, Sebastian Squilacci, who scored twice in a 3-0 win for his side. And, um, yeah, he's actually scored quite a few goals since leaving Arsenal, which is, um, yeah, pretty damn interesting. Lucas Digne. Now, this one's quite interesting. There are plenty of Roma players who could get an inform this week. I've gone for Digne because he's got a goal and an assist in a 5-1 win. But, um, as I said, there are plenty of candidates for Roma this week. Next to him is Nolito. Now, this one... I'm a bit unsure about. This is actually referring to when Celta Vigo beat Barcelona. Nolita got a goal and two assists and um, a very high match rating. So I think he does deserve the inform. But because it was a last week game, I'm not too sure whether EA will give him it. But I just didn't want to leave him out because that was a very impressive performance from Nolita and Celta Vigo. Moving on to Wabi Kazari. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not too sure at all. This guy got a goal and two assists in a 3-1 win. For Bordeaux and that 3-1 win was against Lyon so this in form should have a very high chance in my opinion. Then we come on to a BPL player Eric Lamella got a goal and an assist in a 4-1 win over Manchester City. Very impressive performance from Tottenham there and then um, yeah Lamella getting a goal and an assist could see him get the in form. And then we come on to my favourite player in this week's team of the week. It is of course Alexis Sanchez who got a hat-trick in a 5-2 win over Leicester for Arsenal. Awesome looking card, hopefully he gets it and hopefully I can afford it because I really want to review this card if he does get this inform. Next up is Hatton Ben Affa, another very good looking inform. As you can see, a central card which would be pretty damn good. He scored twice in a 6-1 win for Nice and one of the goals was absolutely incredible. He's just skilling all over. It was ridiculous. It would be an awesome card and I just love that position change. Everyone knows, you're going to play him at striker. He looks great. Hopefully, gets the inform. Next up is Kevin Volland, who got himself two goals and an assist in a 3-1 win for Hoffenheim. Very nice looking card and once again, a position change in form as well. And now guys, we move on to probably the star of the team of the week, if he does indeed get a record breaker card. Now, I will explain why I've given him a record breaker card in a moment, but the reason he's down for the inform is obviously he scored five goals in um, a game last week, 5-1 win over Wolfsburg, and then this week he scored twice in a 3-0 win. So um, the reason I've put him down as a record breaker is because last year, if you remember, Saudi Mane got um, a record breaker card for the fastest BPL hat-trick. Now Lewandowski scored the fastest five goals in Bundesliga history, so that is something to watch out for. So if we're going to go on consistency, then Lewandowski could get a record breaker card. However, I kind of would understand if EA only gave him the inform because it's very early in FIFA, but who knows? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's move on to the bench. Then we have Daniel Lopa who made a penalty save and kept clean sheet for his side in a 1-0 win. Next to him is Carlos Henao who got two goals in a 3-1 win. 
Zufi here got two goals and an assist in a 3-1 home win for his side. And then we have Nikolai Kalinic, I think that's how you pronounce it, maybe. And this guy got a hat-trick in a 4-1 win. Carl Larin got himself a hat-trick in a 5-2 win for Orlando over the Red Bulls. And then um, finally, no, not finally, we got Lukaku. Two goals and an assist in a 3-2 win. This was a Monday night game, so I'm a bit unsure about it, but I just couldn't leave him out. That was a very impressive performance from Lukaku. And then finally, we have jo Jonathan Soriano, who he should be guaranteed the inform. He scored four times in a 4-2 win. So guys, these are my Team of the Week predictions. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It is potentially looking like a great Team of the Week in my opinion. So if Team of the Week looks anything like this, I will definitely be opening a bunch of packs. I might even stream it this week. Who knows? Anyway, as I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you could leave a like on this video, that would be absolutely awesome. Have a very good day. Adios.